Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Miss Flips. So I am coming to you guys straight from flipping. I still have a paintbrush in my hair. I've been flipping nonstop for this challenge, the ugly duckling challenge. It is finally here. Me and a bunch of other YouTubers decided to flip the ugliest piece that we could find and see what we could do with it. For my ugly duckling, I had been searching and searching and searching. I had a couple pieces in my garage that I was working on already that I thought, you know, if, if nothing comes up, I will just go ahead and do one of those. But none of them were really like ugly, you know, like, like ugly. So I had been looking pretty much up until, well, two days ago. I bought this piece off of Facebook Marketplace for $60. I thought that was a little pricey, but they were asking 70 and I got it down to 60. And it was really ugly, <laughs> which is exactly what I needed for this challenge. And I got it day before yesterday at around six, seven o'clock. And then I have been booking it nonstop, hands covered in paint still. I have been trying to get this thing finished in time for you guys, and I'm so happy I was able to do that. And uh, yeah, let's get flipping. All right, gang, so this is my ugly duckling piece. I waited a while for it, but you know what? Turns out that waiting pays off because this thing is ugly. The first thing I did was clean the piece, which I honestly forgot to film because I was in such a rush. But then the next step was to take off all the hardware. I originally tried to take off the wooden hardware that was on the lower three drawers, but that didn't work out the way that I wanted to, considering that they were probably glued down and would not come off. So, then we moved on to sanding, but while I was sanding, I realized that someone had definitely sanded this veneer before I came along, and it was just stripped to hell. So I went down with some citrus strip and gave all the drawers and the whole piece a good coating of citrus strip, just so I didn't have to sand and ruin the veneer more than it already was. And after letting that sit for a little bit, it was good to come off. And as you can see, everything is coming off and it is so, so, so nice. When you are dealing with any paint thinner or a citrus strip, please make sure you're wearing gloves and protective gear. I ended up using these gloves because they were the only ones that I had and the citrus strip just ate through them. So definitely make sure to get something that's really durable. Then once you get all the citrus strip up, you want to go with a steel wool sponge and mineral spirits and scrub all the surfaces that you put citrus strip on. That way the gunky stuff won't clog up your sander when you go into sand. As I mentioned, the veneer on this was extremely thin. I was actually reluctant to sand some of it just because it was that thin, but I went in with some fine grit sandpaper and just treated it gently and patiently and took my time and tried not to damage it any more than it already was. But good news is the handles were solid wood, so I could just kind of you know, sand away and make sure they were really nice and clean and fresh looking. I'm still not sure what kind of wood this is and what kind of wood the handles are, but they are the same type of wood, whereas the faces of the drawer and the rest of the piece had a really nice mahogany veneer on it that turned out really great in this uh, cherry wood stain. So yeah, I, I really liked it. I am using a gel stain, but like with any stain, after you're done putting it on, you definitely want to wipe off any excess that you have with a rag or a cloth. 
Also, I was preparing this outside and it started raining in the middle of me doing my piece. As you can see, it left these spots that came through the stain and I believe wood conditioner would have solved this problem, but I didn't have any on hand and I didn't have time to get any. So if you guys have any tips, that would be great for things that I could use other than wood conditioner. And here we have a little bit of rub and buff action that I was applying on the metal strips that the piece had on here. They were originally silver, but since I was going to be doing gold detailing, I wanted them to also be gold. For my gold detailing, I wanted to base it off of a circle, so I started off by putting a piece of floss to a pencil and holding it in the corner and just drawing the circle from there. May I just say, I love this paint. I can't remember the name of it off of the top of my head. It's like liquid gold uh, flakes or something like that. Um, but it's so, so cool. It actually looks like the, oh, liquid gold leaf is what it's called. <laughs> um, but it is so cool. It stays where you put it. Like it doesn't smear at all. It dries quick and the shimmeriness of it is awesome it's so cool it kind of like disappears depending on what angle you look at it uh but yeah it was really cool and i like it a lot so continue watching me paint this cool mandala thing The details in this piece were not at all up to par of how I wanted them to be. I was again rushing, I had to get this done within 24 hours and so I was just busting my ass trying to get this finished for the video release. Uh, but honestly, if you look at it close up, it doesn't look too bad, but if you look at it from far away, it looks amazing. It looks so, so cool. I'm genuinely really proud of this and think that it's a really cool design and can't wait to show you guys what it looks like fully finished. And if you guys remember, here is what it looked like before. It was an ugly gray color with some scuffs and some stains on it. It was missing a piece of hardware. And now here is what it is now. All right, you guys, so that was my ugly duckling. Please make sure to go and check out all of the other artists that are participating in this challenge. They are so amazing, such an awesome group of people, and oh my gosh, are they talented, my gosh. So please go check them out. I have all of the links to their videos in the description below, as well as a playlist with all their ugly ducklings, so please, please go check them out. And honestly, for this piece, I kind of used stuff that I already had in my garage, 
because I was on such a short time crunch. So I didn't spend any money besides what I spent on the piece, which again was $60, a little pricey, but hey. I do hope to sell this piece for around $400. I'll see what I can get for it. There are a few little details that I still have to do. I still have to put top coat on it, my gosh. Holy cow, yeah, that's still a big thing, but I have to wait for the gold paint to dry in order to do that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's my flip, you guys. If you guys wanna stay tuned to see how much I sold it for, please make sure to go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and go check out my Instagram where I keep an updated highlight story where I post all of my sales as well as the profits. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I hope you guys stay tuned for more flips. There's so much more to come, and uh, yeah, stay flipping, guys. Mwah.